today we will see misconceptions and some mistakes related to following concepts misconception 1 which of the following numbers has a value of 38% some children cannot understand the sign of percent they think that percent means 100 and 38% means 38 multiplied by 100 With this understanding they give answer as option 1 which is a wrong answer always remember that percent means 1 by 100 therefore 38% is equal to 38 divided by 100 so option 2 is the right answer misconception 2 in a bag of 15 fruits there are 5 mangoes and rest are chikus Find the ratio of number of mangoes to the number of chikus. Some children can't understand the given information and ignore what is to be founded. They see number fifteen and five in the question and in option one and think that option one is the right answer. That's why they choose option one, which is a wrong answer. We should read questions properly. and understand what is given and what is to be found only then we will be able to answer correctly here 15 is the total number of fruits from which 5 are mangoes we can say that in bag the number of chikus is 15 minus 5 is equal to 10 in this way the ratio of number of mangoes to the number of chikus is 5 is to 10 therefore option 2 is the right answer misconception 3 if 4 by 3% of a number is 24 then what is that number to find an unknown number children ignore the percent sign and multiply 4 by 3 with 24 from which they get answer 32 but this is a wrong answer therefore option 1 is wrong answer this mistake happens because of not understanding the question properly here we have to find out the number whose 4 by 3% is 24 suppose the unknown number is x then we can say that 4 by 3% of x is equal to 24 since the meaning of percent is 1 by 100 that's why we can write 4 by 3 multiplied by 1 by 100 multiplied by x is equal to 24 this can be written as x is equal to 24 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 3 by 4 is equal to 6 multiplied by 100 multiplied by 3 is equal to 1800 in this way we get the value of unknown number as 1800 therefore option 2 is the right answer Now let's know some mistakes related to percentage increase and percentage decrease mistake 1 some children think that percentage increase can never exceed 100% but this is a wrong understanding suppose a shopkeeper gets 3 rupees after spending 1 rupee then his profit will be 2 rupees and profit percentage will be 2 divided by 1 multiplied by 100 is equal to 200% mistake 2 if there is a decrease of 25% in 100 then the answer is 75 due to this children assume that to get 100 they have to increase 75 by 25% but this is the wrong understanding the correct answer is that if there is a decrease of 25% in 100 The answer is definitely seventy-five, but when there is an increase of twenty-five percent in seventy-five, the result is seventy-five plus twenty-five percent of seventy-five is equal to seventy-five plus twenty-five by hundred multiplied by seventy-five is equal to seventy-five plus eighteen point seven five is equal to ninety-three point seven five. The result is not hundred. mistake 3 if there is a 20% decrease in 100 then the result is 
Due to this, misconception arises in children that 20% increase will be necessary to obtain 100 from 80. But this is a wrong understanding. Here, to get 100 from 80, an increase of 20 is necessary. But here, the base will be 80 because the increase is in 80. Therefore, percentage increase will be 20 divided by 80 multiplied by 100 is equal to 25%. Today we saw misconceptions and some mistakes related to following concepts. Steps. Steps.